The Colorado Big Game application deadline is quickly approaching on April 4th, 2023. Colorado has eight available species to apply for in the draw, of which there are Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep, Desert Sheep, Mountain Goat, Shirus Moose, Mule Deer, Whitetail Deer, Elk, and Antelope. I'm sure one or multiple land on your list of must-do trips. When we dive into the Colorado draw, they offer a very predictive system for the deer, elk, and antelope tags. It is a true preference point system, meaning whomever applies for that particular hunt with the most points will automatically be awarded a tag. This is what makes building points extremely critical. If you have the points in Colorado, you are guaranteed the tag. You do not want to miss a year of applying in Colorado. The application system for Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep, Mountain Goats, and Shirus Moose is a little bit different. It's what you could look at as a modified bonus point system. Your number of points possessed for each species equates to the number of names into the hat you get for each tag. Now it is a bit more complicated with a computer element, but this is the easiest way to look at it. Again, it does matter on the number of points you have, so if you can't hunt, build a point. Otherwise, you need to be applying for these great tags. Regardless of your point status, you could draw with three, you could draw with 10. You want your name to be in the hat. Colorado issues the most non-resident Rocky Mountain Bighorn Ram tags, which makes it a must-apply state for WTA tags. Also, they offer a unique archery-only sheep tag. For those of you that are serious archery hunters, this will offer you much better draw odds over the any weapon tag and should be considered. On top of archery bighorn sheep tags, Colorado offers archery only mountain goat tags. These archery only mountain goat tags should be considered for any extremely engaged archery hunter. Colorado has recently risen to the top in terms of production when you're looking at Shirus moose. Each and every year there are truly giant bulls being taken and new units being opened up. This is a state that if you either need a Shirus moose or want to experience a world-class moose hunt, you need to be applying. Tags on the moose side of things are unique in a sense that once drawn, you can hunt during the archery season with archery equipment, muzzleloader during muzzleloader season, and rifle during the rifle season. Colorado has long been known as the undisputed champion when it comes to producing big mule deer. You do need to be particular about the areas and your weapon choice, as well as who you're going to hunt with once you draw the tag. These are all critical factors that go into planning and executing a trophy mule deer hunt. At the moment, Colorado is experiencing one of the tougher winters we've had in quite a long time. The conditions that we're currently experiencing could cause you to switch units as well as season dates. If you have questions on this, you're sitting on a pile of points, it would be best to call and speak with a consultant as these points are imperative when you're going to plan a hunt. Colorado abounds with elk. Majority speaking, it is an opportunistic state where you can go have a great experience with good odds of taking home a bull and seeing some very beautiful country. Certain portions of Colorado not only offer the opportunity, but also the trophy size. There are a number of different hunt areas in Colorado where true trophy hunting does exist. If you are currently sitting on 15 or more points in Colorado, it's imperative to speak with one of the consultants in our office and make sure you are applying for the right unit and have the outfitter lined up once drawn. These two factors are key to having an enjoyable hunt and the last thing you want to do is spend all those years applying and end up on an experience that is not what you wanted or expected. Although Colorado does not offer any exceptional youth only tags, they do allow youth 12 and older with a hunter safety card to begin building points at a much lower cost than you and I as adults. If you have kids 12 or older with hunter's ed, you need to start building points right now it's a great opportunity. Take advantage of the WTA Kids Apply Free program and let us get them off to the right start. And we can't forget Antelope in Colorado. It is also on April 4th. 
This is an opportunistic application in my opinion. A few portions of Colorado have some big goats, but it is a pretty easy draw. A couple, two or three points will get you into a lot of areas across the eastern side of the state. Great opportunity to spend some time with some family and friends in Colorado hunting, then venture up to the high country for a little fishing or elk hunting. Don't forget, April 4th is the Colorado Big Game application deadline. If you have not applied in Colorado, or you've been applying for 15 years, WTA tags can help. Give us a call. We'll make sure you're applying in the right areas with the right weapon to ensure you're gonna have the hunting experience you've always dreamed of.